Okay, so uh, let's do a, a quick challenge uh, for you guys. So first, uh, I need to delete all this uh, uh, object in this scene. So I'm going to delete the camera, the light and the sphere. And uh, then we're going to add any object just uh, as the original uh, cursor's point. And then I'm going to add uh, another object so just a little above this uh, object. Okay, how to do that? First, uh, we can just scroll out. Okay, we can scroll out and we can click all these objects and uh, press the key X to delete that. And we can also just, uh, if you can't find, for example, you can't find the camera, uh, you just can click the camera and you can delete that, all right? And this is fairly simple. Or you can double click that and you can change the name. Okay, uh, so, uh, uh, my recommendation is that uh, you, you need to change the name uh, in case that you forget uh, what, what, it, what it is, okay? So uh, you, you can't just have a sphere uh, 101001 or sphere 002. Uh, you will get very confused very soon. Uh, so uh, my recommendation is to do have the uh, unique name or name that you understand or 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 all these uh, people in your team uh, do uh, adhere to a certain kind of naming convention. Okay, so uh, as long as everyone has that convention, it should be it shouldn't be a problem. Or just uh, if just you in, in your team, and uh, you just then put uh, every name that uh, makes sense to you. Okay, so let's uh, delete all that. Just to press the X. Choose that, press X, choose that, double click, you can rename and press X, you can delete all that. Remember, all this uh, kind of operation is done under the original uh, cursor, okay? So the original cursor, uh, if we um, uh, put the view here, and uh, we, we know that the, the 3D cursor's the location, X, Y, Z is, is are, are all zero, okay? So it's at the original place. And uh, let me add a few things, okay? So first we need to change that to select box and add things, we can use the shift and plus A. You can add things and you can also just click this add, okay? And uh, once you uh, hover your mouse uh, uh, at the add, you, sh you get the shortcut shift and A uh, give you uh, some uh, Indication that uh, what should do, or what we should do. Okay, so let's just use the shortcut, and you can uh, see what's happening at shortcut at here. Just to move that uh, above a little bit. Uh, let me just uh, see uh, screen cross key, and uh, let me just move that above a little bit, so uh, you don't uh, get. Uh, 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 get get our move or, or any this is uh, operation panel. Uh, okay, so uh, we we can see this operation panel clearly, and we can also see what's going on at my mouse or my keyboard. Okay, so uh, once uh, you have chosen to select a box and you want to add something, you can use the Shift A to add, and this thing, this object will show up at the original cursor place, which is 0, 0, 0, okay? So let me just add, uh, say, for the fun of it, just add a circle here, and uh, as you can see, this is really a circle, okay? And uh, let me add uh, something else, Shift and A. Let me add a mesh, say there is a, uh, uh, there is a cube inside the circle and uh, as you know that uh, this one-time operator showed up we can uh, change the size of it and if we want to change it slowly we can press shift and slowly change the size okay and uh, if you do not press shift it will shrink uh, very quickly okay so let's just um, just uh, use that uh, kind of shift and change that very slowly okay and i think that's pretty much all we need to do so we got a we got a cube and we got a circle around the cube
and then uh, let's add something that's above okay uh, as you know that we got a circle we got a cube you, you can rename that by double clicking and the circle like the I don't know maybe some some shield or some protective equipment that uh, this kind of uh, building have uh, we, we, we will come to game modeling later okay it's really fun okay and uh, let's add uh, some uh, point light above so like there is a stone or there is a torch above that uh, can emit light that uh, can add really add the light to your thing okay so so um, the first thing we need to do is to change the place where the cursor is okay if we add a point light here uh, it will let me just try that if we, we just shift and a we add some say the uh, light okay the light we add some point light or sun or spot or area or we'll come to the light uh, later if you add here uh, it will automatically uh, be shown up at the uh, the, the place where this uh, this uh, cursor is okay so uh, since our cube is so big uh, the point light is uh, inside of the cube uh, it's not what we really want so let's just uh, choose the point and press X to delete that and uh, we need to change the place where cursor is we need to uh, move the cursor a little higher so uh, let's just uh, change the mode to the cursor okay so we can set the cursor location and I strongly recommend that you just uh, use the panel at the right uh, not just uh, move that with your mouse because this is 3d space it's very difficult for you to move the, the, the cursor okay so if you want to move the exact location you can choose the view here and there is also a 3d cursor uh, option here and which you can just um, uh, put the exact number or you can drag to move this cursor of course, uh, we will want to this point light to, to be above this kind of cube. So we want to move this uh, cursor uh, horizontally or at the Z. Okay, at the Z. So we're going to ch change the Z. And uh, let me just uh, press shift so everything goes smooth. Okay, and uh, let's uh, click and drag to make that cursor above. Okay, so you can see that uh, the cursor is above this cube, and uh, if you press the, uh, you, you choose this uh, select box uh, function and press Shift and A, you can add mesh. Okay, let's just uh, add another light. Okay, add uh, the point light. Okay, so there is a point light here. Uh, let's just change this. Um, uh, change this view so you can get a better view of uh, what's going on this is the point light and the cursor is above and this is the uh, these are the two objects uh, we add to the scene one is a circle uh, the other is a cube and uh, just uh, just to uh, to practice a little bit more we can move this cursor back to its original place uh, which is the zero 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 just to put zero here and just to put a zero here okay okay so uh, the cursor uh, is back to this original place and let me just uh, delete the circle just to press X and uh, it's deleted uh, if you press shift and a and uh, let's add um, a letter cylinder or torus okay just add the torus and there is the one time panel here you can use this one time panel to make that torus a little uh, bigger so it, it it does not overlap with the cube okay so let's just uh, uh, change this the major radius okay so if I change the major radius a little bigger than that or you can use, uh, use the shift to change that slowly okay and uh, you got the uh, torus that uh, surround uh, the cube. Okay, that's uh, more visible than just a simple line here. So, um, but uh, we still got the overlay uh, of the screencast key. Uh, let me just uh, move that a little higher. So um, I don't think this will 
uh, become overlay in the future. Okay, uh, I think that's pretty much uh, all we have already uh, learned at this moment. And uh, if you have the, uh, if you can do that without any, um, without any questions, then then good job. Okay, uh, so let's continue our. Uh, uh, tutorial and uh, at the next uh, video we're going to learn a view uh, learn a, a bit more uh, complicated uh, operations uh, in blender and i will see you uh, next uh, maybe tomorrow okay bye bye